that is July 20th, uh, 10 a.m. on this uh, wonderful Thursday morning. And already hot. Yep. Okay, so let's go over uh, numbers real quick. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, which is about to come on the uh, DVD Blu-ray, everybody. So far, I think it's... And, uh, yeah, it in... Well, I think it is out of theaters now. So we think it ended at... Uh, Eight hundred forty-three million four hundred twenty-two thousand two hundred and ninety-one dollars. That's really not that bad. No, you know, I expected three quarter. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario Brother, which I is ah just under one billion three hundred forty-six million three hundred seventy-six thousand nine hundred forty-four dollars. Just wow. Just less than. Four away from the uh, one point four, no, uh, one billion three hundred five, three hundred fifty million. My bad. Uh, Transformers: Rise of the Beast. Uh, worldwide total right now. Uh, it only made suppose. Oh, well, it's almost made another million. It's made a couple million uh, since last week. Domestically, $153,819,956. Internationally, $268,200,000. For a worldwide total of $422,019,956. It's doing better. Yeah. Uh, I think it's about to be released on streaming services, so that's going to help it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, Is that included in the... No, that's not included. Uh, I'll probably get the last figures uh, later. Uh, and, you know, and especially now, you know, and one topic we want to talk about is, you know, is about films. So if you guys don't know, you know, the Screen Actors Guild, uh, SAG, and the, uh, writers. the Writers Guild are on strike in Hollywood, and this has to do with a couple of other different things. One has to do with, uh, um... Residual rights. Yeah, that, that's one of the big things, residual yeah. rights, uh, and one of the people who actually talked about it very well, believe it or not, hold on, let me pull, uh, because I, I actually saved this Instagram post, uh, so I can go, uh, to him. He's an actual actor. Um, a lot of you might remember him from. His name is Vander James. He's done a. Uh, he's part of the Screen Actors Guild and he's part of the Writers Guild. He was the main character in the um, WB series in the '90s called Dawson's Creek. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he's actually a really good actor. Uh, I didn't really like Dawson's Creek. I'm, I'm yeah, this wasn't your cup of tea. Nah, it was just to me another. Uh, it was more of a girl thing. Uh, what well, you said it. Uh, but yeah, he he really said it good. Uh, that the kind the billion dollar companies, you know, like you know the the studios are are holding residual rights because of streaming services. Now this also gets into like let's say you do a let's say you do a TV show, everybody. Okay, all right. So while it's on like TV. You get residual right checks and everything. Now, over the years, your your residual rights checks will diminish. In other words, like, um, I'm what what I mean is like the percentage wise, it does go down after a while. And am I right? Yeah. Uh, Until it goes completely out. Right. And there's some series that I remember as a child, maybe back in the 1950s, which are well over 60 years old, and I doubt anybody's getting any residuals off of them. No, uh, get a little closer to the mic to make sure that all um, audience can hear you. I yeah. Know, I don't know exactly how that works, but I'm sure that's pretty much gone by the wayside. Right, because the same thing was said, you know, like for the artist when we met Mr. Uh, uh, Bellman, you know, one yeah. of the artists who worked on Captain America back in the day. He was talking about the residual rights for the comics that, you know, we did. Uh, and there's a whole legality on on stuff like that. You know, let's say you know, you do a TV series, okay, and the residual rights was like, okay, so we're, we're we've got it on this time slot, yeah. okay. Uh, you know, we're gonna do reruns and like you have your new new show coming on. You know, I mean, sp especially if the series had like 50 episodes. Okay, 50 episodes. You know, okay, so now we can start kind of running this 
these fifty episodes like once a you know once a day. Yeah. All right. That that will clear up this time slot. All right. So you, if you're on that show like all fifty episodes, you're gonna get residuals from that show. All right, and so it goes out of syndication and goes into reruns. Runs. Right. Which is another contract for that. Right. And it's usually not, from my understanding, it's usually not that big. Uh, now, and. Yeah, but it, you get so much for every time it's shown. Right. And you take a very popular show. Um, Let's see, NCIS, CSI. Uh, well, even going further back than that, um, Andy Griffith. Oh. How many stations locally are showing Andy Griffith? Oh, Andy Griffith was shown. It's it's on every day on some station. Yeah. I mean, on on our cable. Yeah, uh, our WTTO ch- uh, station. I mean, ever since I was little, I I think it was I think it went away for like a month because I mean it was like ten to eleven was always Andy Griffith show every night. Fry. You got it on two or three. Me TV has it, and let's see who's the other one. Uh, um, TV Land. Shows yeah. It. Yeah, and you got to think, you know, that that residual, you know, I mean, after everything's said and done, everybody, you could be getting a, uh, you know, like a thousand dollars. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about low end. You know, you can be getting a thousand dollar residual residual check a month. Yeah. And that's from one show, or you know, just. You know, let's say you've done two or three shows, you know. Okay, for so this show, I get a $1,000 residual check, all right. I've done two other shows and everything, um, and, all right, so I'm getting like, you know, $6,000 a month just from residuals, okay. And that's not including the stuff you're doing now. Uh, that's your bread and butter. Yeah. So, and what the streaming is, a lot of things are constantly streaming. And every time they're streaming, they are making money because, you know, the ad revenue and everything. Mm-hmm. I, now, I don't know how the algorithm works that out and everything. I would actually have to sit back, everybody, and study, and, and study on how, uh, how yeah, how that works. Because there's a, there's a whole business in to that and trying to see how they calculate it and everything. You really have to look at it uh you know, there's a lot of people who are like, uh, who are content creators, such as people who are on the uh, Twitch streaming uh, channel, uh, which I do have a Twitch, which uh, before, you know, I got the my last job, mm-hmm. and I was starting to build up a Twitch following, but then I got my last job, mm-hmm. I wasn't able to do it as much. I ain't gonna lie. There, there, there was a little time I was kind of hoping, okay, maybe this will get up and running. I could do this full time because mm-hmm. there's a lot of people who do Twitch now. They don't just. Uh, I'm getting getting off topic just a little bit. They don't just play video games and everything. A lot of them just you know, some of them talk news. Some of them talk you know, they're 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 entertainers. Yeah. So, uh, there, there's a certain type of like I said. I'm sorry, I got off topic. A residual thing they have to go through, and same thing with people who do YouTube. You know, and same thing with, like, Instagram. And I'm not sure. I think Twitter's starting to work on that. I think Elon is trying to uh, work on that for Twitter to, for, 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 I heard something. He's trying to work for content creators can start making money off of, and he's trying to make it more, he's trying to make it simpler and everything. Mm-hmm. He said, I want to make it simpler so people can get on here and do more this. people do it more resonated. And make it more, make it more fair. Well, there's, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. But, you know, the residuals is one thing, especially with the streaming, uh, net, uh, you know, like on the streams, like with between Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, what, what is it? It's called Max now, which is what was H- the HBO thing, which is like Warner Brothers. Not to mention, you also have got um, Peacock. Paramount. Uh, uh, yeah, Paramount Plus. Uh, you also got Apple Plus. And, you know, that's not even talking about your stuff that's in the free market. Uh, what I mean, like, the, there's a couple of free streaming sites. Of course, you guys know of, you know, everything. You know, there's Pluto TV, which is live, kind of like live TV, which has a ton of channels. Uh, it has some good stuff. It has some stuff I don't, I'm not really a fan of. but uh, And then you have stuff like Tubi, 
which is another streaming service, which everything is, uh, mo 90% of the content on there is free. Like, like all, all, all of it's free, but you know, you gotta watch like some, uh, like advertisements every now and then. And I mean, they got stuff, you know, that's, you know, it's like regular quote unquote over the airways TV. Uh, you just have, like you say, just commercials. Right. So I don't know how to do the residuals on that. But, you know, that's one of the things, you know, he was talking about. He was also, uh, they're also talking about, like, AI, you know. Oh, that's a big one. And that's a big one right now. Now, uh, as he did sit there and say that AI can be a useful tool in the right hands, basically, um, to help help the story, help make it better, you know. And which he's right on that one. If AI is used correctly, it can be used to help make the story better. But using AI specifically for yeah, you got greedy ghosts. They want to do it AI and cut out cut cut out actors and writers and everything, yeah. and be like, look, the AI did this. It's good. You're gonna watch it. You know, it's like also bringing dead people back to life. You know, uh, and I'm talking about. I'm gonna use an example. Uh, using making it like a, a 3D image, you know, they, they're already using it with the voice where, you know, that that's actually going to, and that's one other scary thing also, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the segment, um, is you can't tell if it's real or not, because it's so realistic, they can bring like John Wayne back to life, Bruce Lee, um, and I know this is going to, I'm, I, and now I know Hasbro won't do it, because Hasbro has more sense, but is Saban had control of Power Rangers, he bring back all the he bring back the uh, the actors and actresses who have passed, such as Tui, who uh, you know passed away in the early two thousands. Everybody mm -hmm. uh, played Trini uh, in the first uh, se you know season first Yellow Ranger, and one of the ones who recently just passed away, uh, Jason David Frank, the original Green Ranger, White Ranger. You know, it's a bottom dude in a heartbeat. I, I'm not trying to be mean. What? Well, I'm agreeing with you. I understand. And that's one. That's also one of the big arguments right now between residuals, as well as, uh, you know, well, with AI, you cut out residual. Yeah, and also we're talking about fair, equal pay, not just for the pay, uh, you know, like the writers or now, yeah, they're. Now, like like I said, I, I see both ends on the spectrum a little bit on it because I am a business major, everybody. But I agree, writers and actors need a living wage, especially if you have an actor who is constantly going from one production one day to another the other day, you know, being an extra, you know, even walking around, you know. I mean, there's people, everybody. He has to sling hash at night. Right. Uh, you know, hash browns, you know, well, at the Waffle House. Yeah, the Waffle House. All right. Uh, and you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, you know th they deserve a living what uh, a living wage. I, I do agree on that one. Uh, the writers now, uh, you know the writers sh should be paid more of a standard wage. I know, I know there's differences on the writers. You just can't have three writers in there. And okay, guys, you're gonna write like twenty uh twenty four episode season, uh and you're we're gonna pay a thousand dollars. No, you, you can't do that. And writers need residuals too, on on their mm -hmm. stuff. Um, but they also need to focus more on like okay, you know, you can't have maybe like half a dozen writers working on something, okay? And well, by the time you throw in all the rewrites between yeah the directors and the production company. Right, so they uh, want it done like this, no, they want it done like that, and, and yeah, the, the, in the middle got to write it the way they want it. Right, and now there are there, there are certain aspects where, you know, they're they're too much worried about this thing instead of writing the story, you know, and I and and I'm I'm probably gonna make some people mad on this one, but I'm talking about well, we got to have a writer who is a girl, or we got to have a writer who is, uh, this sexuality or this religion. In here to make it f us feel diverse and everything. Um, I have no, w yeah. Why? Okay. If they, I, I, I don't. Not to do, not to. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not trying to mention anybody on, on everything. There's a lot of things I believe everybody. 
Um, we, I know we believe if they can do the job, job, they can do the job. They can do the job. I don't care where they Good. come from. Okay, Good. this the, you're here to do a job. Okay, now if somebody's you know let's say writer A is like, hey, writer B is offending me. Okay, why is writer B defending you? And if it's something like stupid, you know, it's kind of like, how far both of y'all? I don't care. You know, I'll get some. I, I, I'll get writers E and uh, F out here. Okay, uh, if writer B is saying like, well, this B B B B, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. You 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 you, you do have an attitude. You need to lose the attitude, or you're fired. Yeah. You know. Check it at the door. All right. No, uh, professionalism. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, now that's also the same thing off with uh with actors and actresses. Now. Uh, one of the biggest also controversies is with uh, this going on is uh, Bob Iger has basically sit there and said so many words is what they want is unrealistic and everything. Now, Bob Iger makes about $27 million a year, everybody, and he's already talked about the way we're going to pretty much save is he wants to sell assets of Disney. Now, I did find out he's not going to get rid of Lucasfilm uh, or Marvel. Um, okay. Cash cows. Right. Uh, I don't think he's going to get rid of the Disney property stuff, but he's going to sell certain aspects of Disney. Now, I think that's going to be more of the TV stuff. Like, I think it's going to be um, ABC, uh, Freeform. You know, like, I know we watch Freeform a lot during the holidays. Yeah. Uh, as well as... Uh, which Freeform used to be ABC Family, and originally was known as the Family Channel, yeah. uh, as well as FX. Uh, well, I have a question. What about all these, the children's stuff that they put on? Uh, you talking about like uh, Disney Channel and yeah. Disney Junior? Yeah. Uh, he's thinking about chopping them too. Now Disney Ch now also you you have two Disney channels you have Disney and Disney XD, yeah. and it, 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 and uh, 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 I haven't watched Disney XD. I mean, I was watching Disney XD for a while because you know it did have good stuff. It was supposed to be like more of your more a little more action orientated stuff. Um, Disney Channel. I think I quit watching Disney Channel around like probably two thousand four two thousand five. It just it, it, it didn't have anything, you know. Well, one of the shows I have is very educational. Oh no, you're talking about some of the Disney. Now the Disney Junior stuff is actually, yeah, uh, is actually really good. Has good moral messages and everything. I don't like some of the animation, but uh, that's just me. Uh, it's that weird 3D animation I can't stand. Um, and you're talking about Bluey. Yeah, no, Blue, Blue, no, Bluey's actually like like really good. Uh, I've seen a little bit of that. Uh, let's see. But I mean, I don't know. Like right now, he's supposed to be having a talk with some of the employees. You know, he's planning on having a Disney yard sale, uh, selling off stuff and everything. <coughs> Disney yard sale. That's what they're calling it. And yeah. um, God, I wish I had the money to get some of this stuff, classic Disney stuff. You know. Oh, I know. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know, and I think it's also is he's sweating because he doesn't know what they're going to do about, like, Mickey Mouse also. You also got to think, though, they're going to lose the copyright for, for Mickey Mouse in a couple of years. It's about to go into, what's the word? Uh, uh, the free market. Yeah. Yeah, there's a specific word for that. Be non copyrighted, yeah. That's like that's what happened to Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh went to the free market what, about a year or two ago. Yeah. Now, um, now we're talking about the basic Winnie the Pooh. Oh, wow. You can do anything with Winnie the Pooh now, okay? Yeah. But the Disney Winnie the Pooh, yeah, they still own the, 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 the rights to that. Now, Mickey Mouse don't know, and then you know, that's also you got to think about, you know, uh. Don't know because this has never happened, you know. And you got to think, you know, there's a couple other characters here in the next, you know, 10 20 years are going to start coming up on this. How are they going to do, you know? How's it going to affect it? Well, let's see. Uh, let's uh, Superman, 
Batman, uh, Captain America, uh, for example. Oh, uh, let's also not forget Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Some of the Looney Tunes. Porky Pig's close, too. Yeah. He's one of the oldest Looney Tunes. Uh huh. So, yeah, Popeye, too. That's Paramount. Yeah. Uh, Is now. Mm hmm. So, I mean, it's. Don't know what's going to happen with Disney. Uh, some people want Disney to burn. I prefer, preferably would like to get all the crap out and bring Disney back to where it was, but I don't see that happening, unfortunately. Not anytime soon. No. Well, he's thinking about selling a lot of stuff to Apple Plus, so I don't know what that's going to do. You know. That's why they're putting it in their vault and laying it out once a year to get them all up. That's the reason why if I see like those DVDs, I see, you know, oh, right like the classic stuff, I'm going to snatch it up while I can. Yeah, pop it up. Uh-huh. Well, some of the people out there in the audience will remember a few years back that the music industry had the same problem, and they finally got it halfway straightened out. Oh, uh, yeah. Kanye, if I remember correctly, Kanye West worked with uh, President Trump on a lot of that stuff. Yes. Uh, and what you can say what you just want to say about Kanye and Trump, all right? But a lot of it, that bill that he signed into law, uh, that protected a lot of the people writing the music, writing the lyrics, as well as the. Uh, Older artists that were still Older alive. Older artists and yeah, you know, the performers weren't getting anything for the work that they did. Yeah. So, I mean, now, uh, so, I mean, this is really going to shake up the industry a lot. I mean, you have to think about it. This is not only going to affect you know things like. You know, movies and TV shows that are coming out. We don't even know. I, now, I think Ninja Turtles might be coming out. Don't know if... Uh, well, a lot of that stuff is in the can. It's just they won't be able to promote it the way they normally would since a strike is on. Right. Uh, Deadpool's on hold right now. Deadpool yeah. 3. Uh, so, I mean... It, don't know what's going to happen because I think the only other movies this year we were going now. Uh, I th if I know from my understanding, the Marvels will still come out because Disney's basically sit there and said, No, I'm, I'm not going to sacrifice, you know. Mm -hmm. I should think it's going to hurt the movie, but we'll still go see the movie, everybody. I know some people might be mad about that one, but you know, uh. Oh, one I'm I really want this to get handled to go see. You know, yes, I want to see Expendables four because that's Stallone's last action film. Uh, Dag Nabbit, I want to see Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> that's on hold too, isn't it? No, it's all right. it, it, all the shooting's done. It's all the. Yeah, it's already right in the can. It's just the promotion of. Yeah, they've done all the film shooting, so hopefully they're they're going to be working on all that. You guys got to understand, though, like, we really like the last Ghostbusters film, and I, we really want to see this one. So, I mean, the, the and, you know, it's also going to affect the things, you know, what a lot of people don't realize is this also can go into the voice acting industry. Mm -hmm. uh, since a lot of the, um, a lot of the anime, you know, I, I'm, I'm pointing out that right now is streamed you know yep. like on, on Crunchyroll you know how's that going to affect uh, them and think about that yeah if they're not getting their right you know their residuals uh, this can also affect video games you know being released everybody you know oh, and I know I can think of two games right now that everyone would be pissed off if uh, they didn't. I think they got everything in the can or, uh, and everything where it can come out. Uh, which I think they're supposed to come out in September. Uh, one is the new Mortal Kombat movie. I mean, a game coming out Mortal Com called Mortal Kombat 1. It's another revamp. Mm 
Uh, continues the story from eleven, but it's a revamp. Uh, and then you've got Mortal. Com- uh, then you've got Spider Man Two coming out, which I know that one's going to be huge. So we'll just have to see. Uh, that's a wait and see game right now. You know, and I, I I do support the actors and actresses on on a lot of things. Uh, and the writers too, because you know it, everyone do, does deserve a living wage. And everything. Now I'm talking about where you can pay your bills, you can uh, you can get your food and everything, and you can live comfortably. I ain't talking about you can go to some no thing five star hotel and everything. Oh no. All right. Or a restaurant. Restaurant. I don't remember though. I, I last time I went to the restaurant, me and you. What was it? Uh, Pop Cult Festival. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much the only restaurant we go to a year. Yeah. That's how bad. I mean, I don't yeah, got. This ain't your Mickey D's or Burger King. No, nah, no. Nah. Hell, between two of us, it's about almost sixty bucks. Yeah. It was good. It was worth it. Don't get me wrong, but I can't. I can't do that all the time. No. I mean, cruddy. I mean, even some of the regular fast food places are getting expensive. What do you mean getting? Are. Yeah. That's another topic for another day. Mm-hmm. So, uh, let me hear your uh, opinions, everybody, on the writer strike. Uh, let me hear your opinions on what Bob Iger's uh, planning on doing. Uh, if you if you hear anything, uh, please let us know. Yeah, please let us know. Like, put a link in the description down below. Uh, I have a couple different links to what's going on on the writer strike. Uh, what Bob Iger has said. A couple different articles, everybody. Uh, as well as I would also have those articles on our Facebook page. Uh, you know, like I said, we're going to try to keep in contact uh, w- with this type of stuff. Keep up with it. Yeah. So, I mean, because it affects all of us. Yeah, it really. Be further down the road, it'll affect us even more. Yeah. Oh, I can see it trickling down even to like you know, and everything. I mean, oh, yeah. because unfortunately, a lot of stuff has, has revolved around the entertainment industry the past two decades. Yeah. You know, and if, if something happens to it, oh crap! You know. And what's left? Sports. Ooh, did I say that? <sighs> I don't want to have to go work at a sports place just to. I know. Which that's fine, but you know, not twenty four seven. If I have to go work at that at the stadium to make an, uh, a, a a living, I, w- I would, but it doesn't mean I'd like it. You don't have to like it. Eighty percent of the people that work don't like their jobs. Mm-mm. Okay, everybody. Uh, with that said, please like and subscribe to us here. It uh, it really does help us out. We also have a Facebook page. Like us there. Uh, anything you want to say, Dad? No. Nope, be safe. Yeah. Be safe out there, everybody. Uh, we're out. <laughs>